It's midnight, I'm in the attic of my barn, which can only mean that I've locked myself out of my house. Or that it's the start of the Otis Halloween season, the 2015 Otis Halloween season. The sixth annual Otis Halloween season. We've had five more of these before this one. Uh, and if you have jumped, dropped by the site at any point in those you know, five seasons, you know what you're in for. You're in for uh, fall road trips and spooky oddities. You're in for, you know, seasonal foods and drinks, uh, horror movies, Halloween specials, television shows. You're in for all kinds of ephemera, past and present, um, as we try to wring every orange and black drop out of the next month and a half, the Halloween season. Uh, the one thing that's going to be different about this season, different than any other Otis Halloween season, different than any season I've personally celebrated, uh, going back all the way, is that come October 1st, uh, my family and I will be moving to Salem, Massachusetts. Which city, Halloween city, will be living there all of October? Moving in October 1st, moving out November 1st. Um, and obviously that's going to impact the blog. I have no clue how that's going to incarnate itself on our daily posts, but it definitely will. So stick around for that. I'm doing it not for the blog per se. Uh, my next book project involves living in Salem for 31 days. Uh, and I'll get into that on another post. I'm not going to go into details here. I'll make an official announcement about the book and what it's about. Um, so make sure you come, ba come back to the site. You know, every day from now until October 31st, we'll be doing original content. So tomorrow when you come, as I hope you do, you might see the time you visited a restaurant themed after the Headless Horseman. Or you might see a post about this book I have that opens up into a five foot tall vampire. Or you might come by and, I don't know, I'll do some Otis Halloween retrospectives because I feel like I can get away with that since we have five years behind this. Um, but meanwhile, you can check me out uh, on the socials. I'm on all the usual socials, uh, Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and uh, Tumblr. I'm on Snapchat if you want to do that with me. Um, and I'm telling you this so you know you can see what's going on in between the posts, but also I would love for you guys to share your Halloween season with me. Send me pictures, if you see cool stuff in the grocery store, if you're doing something cool, you hear about an activity that you think you know I'd want to hear about, please send it to me. I love this stuff. I want every excuse to be online <laughs> and on my phone the entire season. Um, so yeah, so come back tomorrow and we'll you know, I'll give you some real content, not just me talking in an attic and eating candy corn. So happy Halloween season.